In this video, we'll show you how to set up your router to help your smart home devices connect smoothly, especially if you've been having trouble getting them online. Let's get started. Smart home devices encompass a wide range of everyday objects, including printers, smart TVs, doorbells, cameras, and smart speakers, among others. One common trait among these devices is their reliance on the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band as opposed to the 5.0 GHz band. The 2.4 GHz frequency is preferred because it covers a wider range, even if it's not the fastest. This makes it great for smart home devices that need a stable connection more than high speed. Most modern routers usually have a default mixed mode Wi-Fi security setting, such as WPA3 slash WPA2 mixed mode. However, many smart home devices using older Wi-Fi standards may struggle to connect to this setting. To resolve this issue, a simple and effective solution is to manually set the security mode on your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi to WPA2. There are two ways on how to do it. In this video, I will show you how to change the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi security via the Linksys web user interface. Follow these steps to access the web user interface of your router. First, launch a web browser. Second, enter your router's IP address, which is by default 192.168.1.1 and then press the enter button. Third, enter your router password and click sign in. The default administrator password of an unconfigured router is admin. If you have changed it, enter the new password instead. When logging into a Linksys mesh system, you might see a warning because the router doesn't have website certificates. However, your connection is secure and encrypted. This warning only appears with HTTPS connections. Please consult the link provided in the description section for guidance on resolving the browser error. After accessing the Linksys web user interface, navigate to Wi-Fi settings in the left-hand menu under Router Settings. In the Wi-Fi settings section, select the Show More link. For the 2.4 GHz band, switch the security mode to WPA2 Personal and then click the Apply button. If the previously mentioned recommendation doesn't resolve the issue, you may need an additional step. Separating your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi from your 5 or 6 GHz band's Wi-Fi. Although not widely practiced, this step is a reliable workaround for smart home devices struggling to recognize multiple Wi-Fi from dual or tri-band routers. Just follow these steps. Return to the Wi-Fi settings page of your router. Note that the Wi-Fi names for your 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands are identical. Enter a distinct Wi-Fi name for your 2.4 GHz band and click Apply. Now attempt to reconnect your smart home device to the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network once more. This last one is a golden standard. If both previous steps do not work, then a reliable restart should do the trick. Sometimes, a simple reboot on your devices can already make a difference. 